Hello, this is Andreas from Predictera. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use Evince to create a PCA model of your image data and then use that to visualize the spectral variation in your image and to remove background pixels. In the data tree, which is on the left side of the screen, you will see the data set for your imported image. If you right click on it, a menu appears where you can select to create a new model from this dataset. As you can see, there are different types of models in this menu, but because we have not set classes or a Y variable yet in this dataset, several of the model types are not available. Let's select to create a PCA model. The default setting in events is to use three components for a PCA model of image data. But if you prefer, you can set any number of components, or you can use automatic cross-validation. In this example, I will use a default of three principal components. You will now find a PCA model in the data tree under the data set and a number of default plots for PCA are generated in the plot area. The PCA model overview plot is showing you the percentage of variation that is explained with my PCA model. In this case, the three principal components are explained in 99.74%. The PCA model loading plot is showing you what spectral variables are most important for each of the components. The PCA model scatter plot is showing you how the pixels in the image are clustering based on similarity in the spectral profile. The color of the points are based on pixel density. In this example, the first component, T1, is explaining 97.5% of the variation, and the second component, T2, is explaining 2.13%. The PCA model contour plot is showing you your image with the colors based on the variation in one principal component at a time. In the scatter plot, hold down left mouse button and drag to select the pixels that are in the cluster on the left side. As we can see, this corresponds to the pixels that are highlighted in the contour plot, which in this case corresponds to the tablet pixels. If I right click on the scatter plot, and select Invert Selection. It will select the other cluster, which corresponds to the pixels that are in the background and are not tablets. If I right click on a scatter plot and select Exclude, the background pixels will be removed. If I then apply these changes, the model will be updated without the background pixels. In the PCA scatter plot, we can see that we have some groupings indicating that we have pixels of different type. To pull out this variation more clearly, we can apply a spectral filter to our data. If you right click in the table area under the variables tab, go to new modification, and you can select to use a spectral filter such as SNV correction. If I then right click, I can apply these changes. The PCA model has now been refitted using this spectral filter. As we can see in the scatter plot, we have now have five separate clusters corresponding to the different types of tablets.
When looking at the contour 2D plot that is based on one component at a time, it's not clear that we have five different types of tablets. So to visualize this difference using all components in our PCA model, left click on the PCA model in the data tree, select T, which is the score matrix for the PCA model, and drag and drop that to the plot area. I will then select to generate an RGB image. This pseudo RGB image is created with coloring based on the three principal components for our model. As we can see, we have five different types of tablets. 